Hey, hello everyone, it's Mike1211 here, and welcome to another Simutron's how to kind of thing, tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Um, today we're just going to be looking at some tips and tricks to the game. Because um, there's some basic things that a lot of that are helpful, and uh, it's kind of hard to figure them out. So, first of all, let's come up here to the mini map. As you can see, we have a new map here. And uh, someone asked me, oh, I guess I should say the name. I do like giving shoutouts to people who ask me to do things. Anyways, as this is coming up, uh, someone had asked me how you do the uh, show the links in between the uh, factories. How you get that to show up on the menu map? Well, there's two ways of doing it, actually. One way I just learned this morning. Um, the one way is to do networks and then select factories. Oh, and then you can deselect selections again. All the factories are now bolded, and when you hover over them, they show their connections. Pretty nifty, eh? Here's an oil rig up here, goes to that chemical plant, and then the chemical plant goes to the pharmacy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, the oil rig goes to the gas station. So, yeah. That's one way of doing it, if you just want it on all the time. Now, if you don't want it on all of the time, you can deselect all that. And when you press shift... Oh, this was supposed to work. Anyways, I guess that doesn't work. I mean, I, I can look at exactly what it was again, but it said that if I press shift and did it, it would show the connections. But it doesn't. Anyways, if you want to know uh, city connections, they're right here. As well as normal connections, they're right here too. So That'll work as well, but... Yeah. Where was that trying to take me? For some reason it wasn't taking me there. Oh, yeah it was. Okay. We're good then. Um... Uh, another little thing to know, which someone asked me for, uh, was how to hide the trees. Now, right now, the trees are all kinds of there, and they get in the way if you're trying to build roads or anything. Well, it's quite simple if you want to make them a little bit transparent. You just press percent button, which is uh, shift and five. And there you go. The trees are now transparent, so you can see when you're building roads. And I usually have this on all the time, if you've ever watched any of my other videos, but there you go. Uh, another interesting thing you can do is turn the grid on. Although that gave me sliced map view as well. So you can just turn the grid on by pressing... Not shift U. I mean, that does turn on a grid, but wow. Um, control U, no? Huh, I don't know. I'll have to look at the controls again. Damn, burn it. I thought I knew what I was doing. Uh, but we'll look at the controls together, that way you see that as well. Or you can find the controls and a whole bunch of other helpful things. Um, to hide buildings... Oh boy, I can't remember that control right now either. What is this doing on the screen? Okay, let's go ahead and look at controls then. So if you press F1 or this question mark up here, you can look at the keyboard bindings. Now, I come to this reference quite a bit to figure out uh, these special things. Yeah, it is just supposed to be shift plus mouse to see industry supply chains, but... Unless if that's a supply chain and not if that's backwards. No, it, it doesn't work. It's not working for me. Maybe you can get it to work for you. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, so here's the other thing I'm going to show you. Control plus tool, because uh, it's a helpful one. But you also have hide buildings. Uh, you can show or not show waiting bars over the uh, your stops. You can show the grid by pressing the number, the pound, pound key. Um, and then you can hide trees and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then there's just some shortcuts for building stuff, for getting lists, uh, for showing the map, and things like that. So yeah, you should definitely take a look at this, see if there anything is anything that you missed. Um, if I remember right, 
but I haven't been able to find it. There's a way to smart hide buildings so that when you're, like, building in a city or something, it'll hide the buildings where your cursor is. It's kind of nice. I can't remember how to do it, though. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we can I can show you how the hide city buildings work. Uh, you can do this while doing buildings, obviously. This will, if you press it again, then it colors different types of buildings. So, like, those are monuments. That's a tourist building. And then red is your uh, basic buildings. And there we're back to normal. So, yeah, that's about it. Let's go to the trains now. If you hold control... Let's make that a bit longer. And I can't. Let's make it really long, like this. So if I were to do it this way normally, as you can see, it phases into the track. But if you hold control... I'll have to reset it a bit. If you hold control while you're doing it, it doesn't. It will uh, just make a straight track right beside, which is really, 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 really helpful. Okay? So there you go. Those are all my tips and tricks for now. If I missed any, please let me know or put them down in the comments and just look down there if you're looking for another tip or trick and someone else reminds me. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you enjoy Simutrons a little bit more. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, you could always leave a like or subscribe. It uh, really helps me um, know that you enjoyed the video. So... Until next time, I will see you all later. Bye-bye!